In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Good morning, St. Paul. There's a banner that's located in the hallway outside the chapel going down to the guidance office. On the banner, there's the tiny nation of Haiti. Around the nation of Haiti, there are ripples, waves, that remind us of the earthquake that occurred in Haiti a little over a year ago. The banner says we are closer than we think. This morning, many of us woke up to news of a devastating earthquake that occurred in Japan. The earthquake in Japan, I've been told, registered 8.9 on the Richter scale. Now, the Richter scale is a complicated thing, but let's just say that that is a mind-blowing number. It would probably be 10,000 times worse in terms of the uh, seismic activity than what happened in Haiti. Because as you increase in the Richter scale, the damage is exponentially more serious. Power, nuclear power generating plants have been shut down. The after effects of the, an earthquake of that magnitude are the tsunamis. Japan has already been hit by a tsunami and as we meet to pray here right now, there is a tsunami hitting Hawaii. In several hours from now, the tsunami will hit the western coast of North America. We pray for the people of Japan. We pray for the people who are affected around the world because of the earthquake there. We are closer than we think. We ask the Holy Spirit to please help the people in that country and to help us, help us share with our friends who will be in need. Let us also pray today for all of the staff and students who will be traveling over the March break. I pray that none of our community is traveling to Japan or to Hawaii, but if they are, may God go with them. Let us remember too that our March break is during the season of Lent, and we can have fun and we can have a good time, but let's remember that this is a season and a time of reconciliation. Make a little time this Lent for Jesus. And of course, if you have some free time, there's no better thing to do than to go down to Dr. Simone's Monday to Friday next week. They open around eight o'clock in the morning and someone is there until 11 or 12 noon. You can help people who are in need. Let us pray, keeping especially the people of Japan in our prayers. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. St. Paul, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning, St. Paul. My name is Simon Kmielewski, and here are your morning announcements. For all grade 12 students planning to attend the Mission Employable trip on April 7th, you are reminded to register online today. If you are not sure how to register, please see Mr. Isabella in Student Services. The deadline has only been extended until today only. Be sure to reg register online today. Students who pre-ordered copies of the Talon DVD may pick them up at lunchtime today. And now a word from Mr. Schmidt. A good Friday morning just before the March break to the St. Paul community. Lots going on <clears throat> and I do want to make sure that every uh, student and their family who may be traveling during this break do have a safe trip and um, return in good health and ready to roll for the balance of our semester as we do have a very, very busy month 
in March when we return, including our grade 10 EQAO test on March 31st. Today I want to remind students of a couple of items and then uh, bid you a farewell for the break. We have a designated smoking area at St. Paul that is out by the uh, sign, our sign board in and around that area. And uh, at the end of the day, that's the area where we've told students if you do want to indulge in one of your addictions, that's the area you're going to have to do it in. Quite recently, I have noticed uh, the pungent odor of some cigarette smell at a couple of the other exits, and I want to make sure everybody understands that the law of the land is that up until the age of 19, suspendable offenses include smoking. So a word to the wise, get out at the signboard for that particular activity. Item number two has to do with our vending machines. We have made sure that, or tried to make sure that they are stocked with items that students can take advantage of when they do need a snack, because oftentimes that's what occurs during the day for adolescents who are growing and do need some extra energy. However, we want to make sure that those machines are there for everybody and that they're not in broken down mode. Broken down mode doesn't occur by accident. We don't want anybody doing any undue harm to those. And there will be consequences if that occurs. If you should lose your money, please come down to the main office and see Miss Robbie in the main office, and she will make sure that any funds are returned. Those are the business items. We are in the spring season very, very soon with the weather being the way it is. We've had a kind of a gloomy three or four days to contend with, but it looks like sooner or later the sun is going to shine and we will have a glorious break. So make sure everybody does it safely and adieu. The song of the day is Macy's Day Parade by Green Day. Have a fabulous day and a fabulous March break.